Hello and welcome to Royal Vibes. Prince William and Kate Middleton tip to take on more prominent role in monarchy straight away. King Charles III is aware that he does not have a long reign ahead of him, according to a constitutional expert. So guys, before we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. If you're just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are very, very welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Prince William and Kate, Princess of Wales, have been tipped to straight away take on more prominent role in the monarchy. Following the death of Queen Elizabeth II, constitutional expert Bob Morris told Express or CEO.UK that King Charles III knows that due to his age, he does not have a long reign ahead of him. Mr. Morris added that this means that the king is likely to bring his heir to the forefront much sooner than the queen did with him, the expert said. The king is 73 and he, he might feel his years up a bit. He knows he doesn't have a long reign ahead of him, certainly not as long as his mother's. I mean, he could survive for a long time of course, but I suspect his age might alter the balance in the sense that he will bring on William much more than would have been the case of the queen when she ascended the throne in 1952. Because she was still a very young woman when then and her heir was still a very small child then. He continued that I think we might see William take on a more prominent role straight away. I don't think anybody will say that out loud, but we might see that. When his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, died, Prince William became first in line to the throne. His son George, who is just 9 years old, is now second in line to the throne. Queen Elizabeth II was just 25 when she, came, she became a monarch after her father George the sixth death from coronary thrombosis. Her son and heir, and then Prince Charles, was three years old. Because of his young age at the beginning of her reign, it was a long time before the Queen gave Charles a prominent role in the monarchy. However, in the final years of his mother's reign, Charles took on an increasing amount of her duties. In 2022, he even attended the state opening of Parliament on her behalf, an event she had only missed twice before in her 70-year reign, both times when she was pregnant. With Charles already in his 70s though, it is likely that Prince William will begin to take on his father's duties much earlier to the king's reign. Prince William is one of Charles's counsellors of state, meaning he can undertake the king's duties when he is either unwell or abroad. Um, Queen Consort Camilla, Prince Andrew, Prince Harry and Princess Beatrice are also counsellors of state as they are the king's spouse and the next four people in line to the throne over the age of 21. However, three of the current councillors of state, that is Harry, Beatrice and Andrew, are not working royals and are thus unlikely to step in for the king, meaning that Prince William is likely to take on the lion's share of his father's duties. Queen Elizabeth II died on September 8, age 96, after 70 years to the throne. She was the UK's longest reigning monarch and most people cannot remember a time before her reign. Upon her death, her son Charles immediately ascended the throne. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.